Yes, everybody, welcome back to Bodo. As you can see, we're flying high. Still top of the league, halfway through the season. Nice eight-point gap over today's opponent, Twa. Now, as you can see, it may look good, but it could have been even better. We've just struggled a little bit. We've had a couple of defeats against Mets at home and then Quaveli Rouen, a team that we really should be looking at beating. And one of the big parts of the problem we've had is international duty. So... First of all, welcome to the club, Will Smallbone. He is in and he's made a tremendous start, as you can see. We went down the defensive reinforcements and we got in Jaffet Tanganga. He is sell-on value as well, which I think is important. All three signings are sell-on value. And Owen Beck, the former Liverpool fullback slash winger, we've got him playing as a left fullback. Those three signings have definitely bolstered the ranks. However, when it comes to international duty, we lose Tanganga, Scholl, Beck, Smallburn, Fitzgerald, Shea, Doherty, and Trebelsi. So we're losing about eight and nine players. And in a couple of the games as well, Colly Sacco, once again, suspended today. And we've just faltered a little bit. We're still, I think, in prime position, though, to still get promoted. St. Etienne are on the march. They dropped as low as 11th and have picked themselves up. So it must be tight. There's only six points separate in ninth and Fourth, I think St Etienne are hopefully too far away. It's just twa today. If we can get a win today, boys, we'll be absolutely flying. Now, the money situation is an issue. We spent, we moved all of our transfer budget into the wages so we could afford those three players that have cost us a lot. As you can see, we're really hitting the red. So getting out of the financial mess this season is going to be huge. We've got one last little bonus, which is this one here. I'm undecided... We get 10% of the next transfer fee, right? It's Yassine Adley. We're kind of getting a valuation there of £37 million. Now, he is valued at more than that. But I'm just trying to gauge whether he's actually going to end up going for more. I don't know. I think it's probably something we're going to have to do. That will get us out of the red in particular this season. And then we just need to pray to God that we get promoted this season. So that's why today's game is absolutely huge. So Didi was going to lead the line. We couldn't, unfortunately, get Mateta. It's still something that we're looking at. Our squad, as you can see, is pretty big, but there is three or four players in here that are nowhere near good enough for the starting 11. Smallbones injured. Akin Yemi could come back in. We've had a little change around with the wingers. Kuzbek is such an attacking winger, uh, a winger sort of like slash fullback. And we did have left side Cone Doherty as a supporting option. We've put the left back now as wing back on attack. And we've now got Sibide, the right full back, just as full back on support. Fitzgerald is now doing the anchor because we didn't really bring a natural replacement in there. So midfield was still a little bit light, I think. Um, especially when Smallbone isn't in and Sacco. No, to be fair, we're missing our two best central midfielders today in Sacco and uh, Smallbone. So we're never going to be as strong as what you would expect. We just need to get out of the division, boys. I'm a little bit worried about Didu. 11 goals in 19, so it would have been nice to have a little bit of money free. Potentially, we may revisit Mateta in January, see if his wage demands lower a little bit and just have someone to support him because obviously we've got Akinyemi. He's not good enough. He scored a couple of goals in the cup game and then scored in the, in the defeat in the last game. But he did go through a spell of, what, one, two, three, four, five, six games without a goal. But we're just getting goals in other areas. I don't think it's a major thing. It would be nice if we could just get through this season. You know, we could even leave Matet until the end of January before we have to make a decision when we're going to do it or not. We've maybe got enough in the bank to get us through. Shea Lacey as well, seven goals. Only one assist, but he's really coming to some goals, scoring form. Right, enough of the talk. Let's get into the game. Going without our ideal midfield setup is a little bit disappointing, and it will be from next season. Just free transfers, boys. Free transfers, getting these pre loved players and having, you know, we want a, probably a couple of seasons in Liga, just setting ourselves up, trying to not lose any more money, basically. Rely on loans, rely on free transfers to get us through. TV money is not amazing, as we know in France, but it'll be a huge difference to what we've got. Stadium, you imagine, will be a little bit more full as well. You know, we've been looking at games at 40,000. You would hope without the debt, and it's just about simply balancing the books, we may be okay, but we've got to get out of this division. So a big win today, or even a draw, to keep them at arm's length, 
would be good. Right, twat, straight in. Keeper, keeper, well done, Joe. Virginia, now we've got a couple of players that are good enough for the first, you know, Tanganga and Fish, good enough. Sibide, probably good enough to give us a season. Owen Beck, good enough to give us a season. Definitely in League One, in Liga, should I say. It'd be the wide areas and the forward areas. We're probably a little bit better back up. So I don't, I think, I think we'll be okay, but we just got to make sure we get out of the division. We've got a chance here. Do you do? He's hit the post. I wouldn't say it was a big chance, but it was a chance. He hit it well on another day. That could have an inch further inside and we would have been 1-0 up. Let's give it an encourage. So the defeat in the last game. <gasps> Dear me. Maybe just started to get a little bit of a hold in the game now. No. Nope. Spoke, spoke way too soon. Right, let's see where this is going to go. You're going to go long. We're underneath it. Owen Becky's not great defensively. He's definitely a winger. So it just gives us an option as well, something we can do. We can move because we're playing with a winger on that left-hand side as well. Beck can move forward, and we've got players like Mustache that can go in at left full-back to cover. There he's going back. He's out of position a little bit. They've scored. They've scored. Oh, boys. God, has he been caught out? Yeah, he's way too high. He, could have, he should have been another couple of yards in. We've had a couple of opportunities, though. There was three players in there that could have stopped the cross. None of them have, and it's fallen to someone in the area. We're 1-0 down. Oh, boys. The next time you come back, we could be out of the top two. We just need to stay in it. We've got... We'd counted down the games. We're over halfway through the season. After today, what will we have? 22. We'll have 16 games left after today. We'll come back. I'm going to probably play maybe seven or eight and see where we're at. Can we defend... We have done a little bit. Didu struggling. That's not what we want. That's a great save. I think it just feels like we're on the ropes at the moment, boys. Right, Doherty has lost out. Beck's on a yellow. Can we nick a point? Tanganga, Beck. Didu is injured. We're going to have to do some problem with half time because we can't really afford to bring anyone else in. We've had another half chance. It could have gone anywhere and they've survived. Okay. Not completely out of the game. We're now relying on Depot Akinyemi. Dig in, boys. A point would be huge. Right, we're struggling. First 15 minutes of the half. We haven't created anything. So we are going to bring on Atipo. And we're going to put him as a complete wing back on support. Very much likes to get forward. He's got a couple of big goals for us. We're also going to bring on two youngsters in Lashard and Trebelsi because neither winger have had an impact. Shea Lacey is anxious and pretty knackered. So a throw of the dice, a big throw of the dice with over, what, 25 minutes to half an hour remaining. Can we stay in the game? Good header bike. Could we break? Lashard, he's had a good average rating. He's just let them take the ball off him. And they're coming back at us again. They are. Oh, Beck, that's a great tackle. Referee, that's a great tackle. Beck's getting sent off. Game over for us. Just when I've made the ch changes as well. Absolutely brilliant. Right, let's bring Shol on at left back. Tanganga can go to right back. Atipo can go to left back. And go with that. We're now down to 10 men. Tanganga, just a ball in the box. <sighs> Mm. It's where we need big Sacco. Like losing our two central midfielders is huge for us. We haven't played well. The two wide players, in particular the left winger, Cohen Doherty, struggling a little bit. So we maybe look at changing it and bringing maybe, I don't know, Becker's coming in as a left winger to give us another option. Bring Mustache in, who's a really solid left back. They're going to score. It's 2 0. It's game over. It's not game over. It's been disallowed. Fucking get in. It's game over. <laughs> Oh, God. No matter what you do when you're down to 10 men, you're just guaranteed to lose in FM. I don't think I've probably ever won a game on FM when I've gone down to 10 men. This is good football from them. They're in again. It's a great save from João Virginia. Let's just go very defensive. Last 10 minutes, this has not been pretty. I just hope when we get the other two back, and Smallbone and Sacco, that we just start to dominate games again. You know, this is probably, as well, this is probably going to be our toughest away game, probably our toughest remaining game of the season. So it's, you know, we're not going to win them all. Can we just win enough? Right, 2-0. A little bit of a disaster. Angers looks like they've dropped, no, they've dropped points. So we have five clear. I don't like that five. We need to make it bigger. So next episode, we're going to come back in and around the 30 game mark. 
that'll be in a few year, few days' time as I really want to crack on with this and get us into Liga as quickly as possible. It feels like every day in real life that I'm here, not in Liga, we're losing money, so I, I need to get into it as quick as possible. Let me know about that Adley deal. Is it worth more than £40 million? You know, we're getting to the point where we're insecure financially. That will just help us potentially till the end of the season. Maybe then it helps us bring Mateta in, get promoted, win the league, and then fingers crossed we should be okay. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Smash the like on today's video. See you later.